Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with meteorologist Katie Suniga. Another gorgeous viewer photo. Beautiful shot there. I was just looking at the Cascades as I was heading into the station today, seeing how beautiful they looked as the clouds were beginning to come into the region today. It is now time for change. We may see a few showers later tonight. Tomorrow, we may not have the clouds, but our temperatures will definitely be different than today. And then by Sunday, specifically Sunday morning, early, early Sunday morning, that's when we begin to see the first of several opportunities for snow may have some different camera pictures and different definitely some different viewer photos if you send them in once we get through the beginning of next week here that outback lift line this is definitely different than what we had when we were looking the last couple of days with all these extra clouds in the sky that's going to change but not for us really until we get into monday sunday early and monday those are our best chances for some snow look at this beautiful black butte ranch camera in fact I'll step back here so you can take the full view in of those beautiful mountains, maybe seeing some more snow on them by the time we're together early next week. Here's what we're paying attention to, watches and warnings. All of this is an air stagnation warning. That's not what worries me. It's more paying attention to this winter storm watch. Now it does not start until Sunday at 4 a.m. This is not in place right now. It begins at Sunday at 4 a.m. and goes until Monday at 4 p.m. And you can see that's for the Cascades, our higher elevations and the West Slopes. That means if you're doing any traveling over the Cascades Sunday and Monday, be ready because we're looking at several inches is a potential snow and most of the impact from these storms that are coming in will be on the Cascades. We all have a chance to get some, especially on Monday, but the most accumulation at this point looks like it will be Monday morning. As far as our satellite and radar image goes, we went from mostly clear yesterday to mostly cloudy today. And you can see this is all that rain that Noah was talking about just a moment ago. It is just dumping. You can see some snow as you start getting to those west slopes of the Cascades. But for us, we get to Sunday morning again, Sunday until we really start to see that impact. Temperatures today on the warmer side, just like we talked about yesterday for most of us, this really does change. And when you look at our snow levels, look how crazy this is. We're actually seeing things that this should be up here a bit, but it does drop down more, even though we're not expecting to see too much once we go through this afternoon, then those snow levels shoot back up. So that's why we have this Sunday morning snow, the break I told you about, and then the drop as we go into Monday and another chance. So this is not wrong. This is not a crazy little spike. I intended to show you that this does drop down before it goes right back up. And that's where we're seeing those chances of things to pass through. Here's what we have for tonight. Definitely seeing a chance for snow on the Cascades, some showers through the region. Once we get to around 11 o'clock, you can see where the snow is expected versus these showers right through here and then maybe a few snowflakes in this part of the region, then that quickly goes away. Really not anticipating much of any accumulation with this. This is gonna be a quick pass through. Then we get to that Saturday that's mostly clear that I told you about, not seeing too many clouds until we get into Saturday night. Then we have a few clouds coming in. We get through Sunday morning, and now we're starting to see that next round come through. It's around eight o'clock. You can see that snow along the Cascades, and that's what sticks with us all the way through until we get into two o'clock in the afternoon. Now you can see some of that possibility for the mixed precipitation, but things do go back to a bit warmer, and that's where I showed you with your snow levels. That clears up for just a bit as we get into Sunday afternoon, then Sunday night, that next round kicks in. Here are your current temperatures. As I mentioned, a little cooler for some of us today. Sun River and Lapine specifically not making it into the 50s overnight. Nice gradual drop. We have a few clouds. You can see that chance for showers in there just for a few hours. We get to our lows, teens and 20s, right about where we should be. No surprises there. Tomorrow we could see cooler temperatures and that's what I was talking about. That's that cool down that takes us into Monday and Tuesday. That's when we get into the 30s and you'll see we stay there pretty much the rest of the week with maybe a quick jump into the 40s on Wednesday. We'll be right back.